Hey guys, what is up and welcome back again to VR Hackers YouTube channel. I'm your friend and host JS Raipa. And today in this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about exploits, vulnerabilities and payload. The thing is that, that I'm going to tell you the difference between the exploits and payloads and how these things work together and how these things actually work. Like I see a lot of people doing a lot of things inside the Kali Linux using MSF console and using payloads and exploit but they didn't know how this thing actually work right they don't know the main process if you don't know the process there is nothing you know there is you are nothing it means that you don't have a knowledge you are the guy who's just you know memorizing the things and that's not the cool thing so I'm going to clear all these things in video so just bear with me stay with this video till the end right so guys let's assume or let's let's imagine that you have a girlfriend right just imagine you have a girlfriend or you have a boyfriend oh my god wow and you guys are walking on the park and holding hands of each other and you know enjoying that specific moment but then uh, suddenly a a Russian guy came and started flirting with your girlfriend and started you know snatching in snatching her hands right so what you did you look around and you see a stone you put the stand right now the thing is that you scan the whole body of that Russian guy the Russian guy was more taller than you more stronger than you and he is not like you that skinny one like that is why we don't have girlfriend so but Everything is strong, but his brain is weak still. So, <laughs> there is no use of it. But that guy was so strong and you realize that if you hit that guy through his hand, there is nothing is going to happen. If you also hit that stone on his hands or leg, still there is nothing going to happen. But you, when you look at that guy, you find out that his head is weak part of his body. His hands are hits his heads are not that much strong than other part of his body right so that specific part that called head is the weakest part of his body none and then weakest part of his main point <laughs> but you can still say that head is a weak part so similarly that specific weakest part of his body is called vulnerability similarly in the world of computers we have in a, in a computer like in a laptop in a desktop we have a lot of services running inside we have a rams we have a different different kind of services we have chrome browsers we have mozilla firefox we have port related services we have apache servers and a lot of different different kind of services running so what we do we find out or figure out the vulnerable part of his services like in, in human body there is a hand there is a leg in the case of that Russian guy his hands are strong his legs are strong but his head is a weakest part so what we do we decide to you know hit that specific weakest part simply similarly similarly in the computer but what we do we scan the whole computer whole operating system and we try to find out the vulnerability the weakest part on his computer so we get into his computer right now what I did, I, I put it the stone. Now that specific stone is our payload. So basically the work of payload in a computer, it's help us to make a connection. For example, if I'm an attacker and I wanted to make a connection through our victim's computer, I need something where the piece of code called payload help us to the make a connection through the victim's computer. We need payloads to make a connection. Similarly, that Russian guy, I need to help my girlfriend i need to defeat that russian guy so there is a stone which i'm going to throw and it will make a connection so i can defeat that specific russian guy now i put the stone now you can guys you just imagine the stone is in my hand and this hand is exploit the payload the stone is payload the hand is exploit and the part we are going to hitting is the vulnerability the weakest part right so what is the work of actually uh, the work of exploit basically the work of exploit in a computer is helps to launch the payload right if you don't have an exploit 
we can't be able to launch the payload if you don't have a payload we can't be able to make a connection and if you don't have a vulnerability we can't be able to get into his system so these all things are interrelatable right now the thing is that i have a payload i have a exploit so what i did i just targeted the vulnerability i put that payload the stone i used that exploit and i just threw the stone on his head and i defeated that specific russian guy and now my girlfriend is free from him and he started bleeding from his head okay now thing is that for different different kind of vulnerabilities we have a different different kind of exploits let's take another example related to it uh, now just imagine that specific specific guy who's flirting with my girlfriend was not a russian it was a asian and it was he was a little bit uh, taller than me not much but little bit in the case of russian guy i can i can i can't hit the stone on his head but i can throw it right if i hit the stone is in his head it's actually difficult for me to reach into his height to hit the stone on his head so that way is not effective that exploit is not effective on that russian guy right 100% uh, not effective maybe it it will be effective 50% 60% but not 100% effective in the other hand there is a the vulnerabilities look same we are hitting the head but the vulnerability the uh, specific service that has a vulnerability is little different in this case that guy was not much taller like a russian guy so i had another option so what i can do i can put the payload and now rather than hitting that space uh, rather than throwing the stone i can hit that so hit that so in a, what we are doing this time in last time we are throwing the throwing is our exploit and this time hitting is our exploit so according to a different different vulnerabilities in computers we use different different kind of exploit we cannot use a same exploit for a Uh, we cannot use the same exploit for different different vulnerabilities maybe they will work but not that much efficient right so this is the things how actually work like i see a lot of people you know i made a uh, lot of people who don't understand these basic concepts and they were saying that why so cyber security ethical hacking and penetration testing is uh, confusing these things are not confusing actually your basics are not clear that is why you think these things are confusing right so guys at the end of the video uh, i already made up a video on metasploit for beginners where i talked about the different different modules of metasploit so i am giving the link on the description metasploit for beginners so just guys go and check out that video and i am also made a video on how to exploits or how to get into any windows computers and how to make a persistence backdoor inside any phone but that specific videos are not in youtube that videos in our facebook you can check out that videos also and you will going to love it so link in the description how to exploit or any windows operating system and the other video is how to make a persistence backdoor inside android phone so you guys can also check out this videos and for more content you just subscribe my youtube channel and hit the like button so i can get more reach more engagement so i will make more videos like this right and i need your support guys right